Right. I'm going to make a very brief introduction before we get and start chatting to Alex, which hopefully is on the other end of this line very, very shortly. Welcome to the very first episode of this thing. I don't know what it is yet. It was the idea was perhaps to do some kind of podcast thing. Maybe that's what it'll end up being. I don't know. I'm also going to record this and with a bit of luck. Very first guest of the channel will not only appear with a bit of audio, but you should see him to my left. So first of all, Alex, are you there? I'm there. How are you, Andy? I'm there. I'm good, mate. I'm not too bad. We, we can't pretend that we haven't just had a little chat off air because we had a, a, a few a few issues getting this one going. Yes, we did. But we're here now. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Well, we, well, I hope the audio is okay. There's a loud squeak coming from somewhere. It, and, and I believe we've got a, bu- a budgie making an appearance. <laughs> yeah, it's the only, only, only beardy I'm going to get. <laughs> Make, make, make that the last, mate. Make that the last. <laughs> so, yeah, we've just been kind of uh, trying to get this whole thing set up, and this uh, squeak started appearing, and it's next door's budgie's made an appearance on Alex's end. But there you go. Yeah, um, just so I hope, yeah. yeah, well, I hope the audio's okay. We're doing our very best. The first one, I must admit, I'm a little bit nervous. It's all a bit weird. It's not like speaking to someone on the phone. <laughs> it's not like speaking to someone next to you on the sofa. So it's a bit yeah. odd, but... We'll get stuck in. Um, Got to say, first of all, Alex, thank you for being the first guest. It's also oh, it's welcome. Friday, Friday uh, early evening uh, in Australia. Alex, for those of you who don't know, Alex Etches, what's your what's the channel name, Alex? In terms it's of YouTube, Gold, it's Golf Box Re- Reviews um, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and Alex is based out in Australia, but you can tell that's not an Australian accent. <laughs> so, again, where do you originate from, Alex? What's the? A... I'm from Nottingham originally. Um, from Nottingham originally. How long have you been out there in Oz? I think it's been nearly four, 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 five years now. It's gone really quick. Okay. Yeah. Enjoying it? I love it. It's very different. Um, yeah. It's very different to the UK. I mean, I'm sure we've got different climates right now. I don't really well, want to ask. What, well, what, <laughs> what is happening? So it's 20 past six or something, half past six, Friday night in Australia. You've got a barbecue on the beach, I expect, have you? Well, I, I wish. I was thinking of doing something like that, and I thought that would be a bit yeah. too much for the first podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll leave that till episode two. Um, so what? But yeah, what's the weather like? Twenty six degrees. Um, oh Jesus! Yeah, it's not humid. It's just a nice temperature. I mean, the UK, as you know, gets to twenty six degrees, everyone starts melting. Um, well, I, I mean. One thing I forgot was we are actually recording this as well. So the look of disappointment on my face there when you said 26 degrees is for everybody to see. Uh, yeah, it's it's not quite that here at the moment, mate. Let's just say that. Um, so, um, so yeah, so you've, you, you do, again, very similar. Um, the, the reason I asked Alex on to the, the first episode was, I've, I've, first of all, I've never chatted with Alex until... Yeah, this, is the, this is the first time. I was just thinking that this is actually, except for social media. Well, posts. that's what I was going to say. We, yeah. we have a, a little bit of banter. I think perhaps uh, share the same sense of humor, at least what I see from what you put out in your videos and what you put out on Twitter and things like that. So yes. um, I've got to say, uh, I want at the moment, Alex is my favorite um, product tester on YouTube right now. Wow. Thank you, Andy. Thank you very um, much. But I've got to admit that it depends on who next week's guest is, Alex. I might end up. I'm very fickle. <laughs> oh, you're one of those. It's like the, it's like the oh. Green, Day, Green Day concerts. Every time they go to a different city, it's the best city in the world. My favourite city ever. Yeah, I'm just like that, mate. I, <laughs> I'm a sellout. A sellout. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, say, on a serious note, I really enjoy your channel, and I'm going to talk about the, the channel. Um, that's what I want, the core topics to be about it's about club reviews because obviously we share that kind of uh right, yes. s- 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 content um but some first of all and i know um i just want to get clear for as well are you comfortable is it alex is it al or would you prefer some kind of james bond reference after some of the recent Judge, james, performances just, yeah, just, call me, just call me double double ob i think that's probably my uh <laughs> my you, my double oh, seven I, name but um well, for people who don't know what that refers to and don't know Alex's channel, and that's why you've got to go and check it out because he throws in oh, a lot of yeah. uh, good fun and humor. Is that not the best place to start? No. He, he throws in a lot of humor into his videos. Yeah. It's just, you know, I think 
it, it can be taken very seriously at the end of the day. Um, yeah. And it's just it's just to have a bit of fun. It is exactly just to have fun. I like I like trying to be creative, doing something different. Yeah, yeah. And this is my, this is my chance to really give it a go, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, no, no, that, and I think that's what stands. That you, you, you know yourself. It's a very competitive industry at the minute. You've got to have something that stands out, and I think bringing a humour element. I think it's not forgetting that you, you do bring all the serious stuff is there. You know, it, it, it's all backed up with all the kind of spec and then the data. That, you know, you, you know your onions kind of thing, but you're having a laugh along the way. And I think if you can mix the two, it's a fantastic end product. And like I said. All jokes aside, I enjoy watching your stuff as I have done for um, for a, a good few years now. You, um, I mean, you like having fun with them. Is that the plan going forward with the channel as such? Just before I get onto the main topic, is that where you're heading? Is it just more, keep on being creative? I think so. I mean, I enjoy it too much not to do that. Um, and as, as you know, the good thing about YouTube is it's a powerful tool. Um, different reviewers are doing completely different things, which I spend a lot of my time watching your stuff, watching the other guy's stuff. And I, enjoy, I honestly enjoy yours. I enjoy Rick's stuff. And, I'm, I'm, you know, yep. I think it, it's fantastic because um, it's, all, it's all different at the end of the yep. day. Um, we've all got different approaches. Um, you'll want to do a, a lot of different things to what I want to do. So, it, it, yeah, it's it's my chance to be creative. And at the end of the day, it just it's just a little bit different. And that's that's the approach I'm going for. Info with a bit of entertainment, nothing too yeah. heavy. Yeah. And is that the is that the plan for 2019? Anything in particular that might change, or is it just a case of carrying on in that um, in that vein, really? I think I can be sometimes if I'm being crit- like critical. It would be um, I don't include enough of the specs, so maybe I'd right. include more more spec information, but without going, you know, too yeah, it's hard that because I think yeah, you kind of I did a video last week where there's kind of <clears throat> you feel a, a duty to relay that information uh, yes. to an audience, uh, You're right. but then you don't want to you you don't want to bore them with data. Um, so Correct. it's I, I mean. And, and the marketing thing I'll ask about in a bit, but everybody is, you know, questions that element, but I do feel you've got to make sure that you, there's a duty, like I said, to get that information across, but it's doing it in a way, like I said, that isn't too long winded and boring, I suppose. Yeah. So I suppose the question back to you is how, where do you feel you sit in those, you know, the spec entertainment side? It's, I, I think for, for me as a channel, you, you're sort of changing, you're, you're constantly evolving. Yeah. I'd like to be. I, I I did. I probably took things a little less serious maybe a year ago and tried to be tried to bring more humour in um, a year or so ago. Maybe got a little bit too serious along the way. So I'd like to um, maybe chill out a bit and do things a little bit. Uh, add the humour back in. Um, but it's it's again it's finding that balance. I think for me it's always been about, and I said it in this video that I did last week was something that you're comfortable with putting out. That you any any review that I give, I feel a responsibility to make sure that I'm I'm comfortable yeah. with it, um, and and I just for me it's always about improving the quality of the content overall, whether that be from a film. And I know again this is something I've noticed in your video, so you're you're obviously working on it. The quality of the content that you're filming is increasing, isn't it? As in the the production values. Yeah, and this is again a part a part where you cross where you cross the line in terms of because obviously something to that. I don't know, it's definitely an improvement to the stuff I used to do. It takes a lot longer. Yeah. Um, so you've just you've got to re- you know at what point um, do do you, do your subscribers do the people that follow me expect that every single time? If that's the case, there's yeah. going to be a less less frequent upload rate. Yeah. Um, or it's I think at the moment it's going to be a bit of a mixture. But for the yeah. you know the the headline products I suppose of the year, then that's probably something you can expect more of. Um, yeah, no, I, it's really, no, it's really noticeable. I mean, I I, and again, you're, you, you've obviously, um, we almost have the same sort of uh, thoughts going through our heads. I never know whether to do sort of one video a week really well or three yes. videos a week. You know, we're sort of yeah. mediocre in terms of the level of quality I do. But I can, I think for me, I can only speak for me as a viewer of watching your channel. I love the the quality stuff. Do you know what I mean? And and that you can see there for. Well, how you gauge that as to whether or not that's what the masses want is, like I said, yeah. the question that we don't really know, do we? No, and I, I, I put a poll out on the channel 
because I was like you said, you, you're unsure. You, you're not exactly sure. This, this this new community section on YouTube is fantastic for me, and I suppose it's the same for you. You can you can ask your subscribers. The, the only other point you would have had any contact with is with a video. So this community tab for me allows to ask polls. What do you want to see in the next video? Okay. Um, so I asked the poll of just would you rather have more frequent content and it actually favoured the more frequent content over the quality right. of content. Right, which is interesting. Yeah, it yeah. is interesting, there which is, that's the opposite of what me and you would probably think. Yeah. So it's yeah. an interesting I'm one. Not, I've not used that uh, community stuff greatly as yet yeah. either, so maybe that's what we need to have a look at. And I think, yeah, I think with you, you've got quite a good social presence where I'm not the most active on social. So yeah, I think I, I think it's definitely something to have a look at. I think so. I think yeah. I think uh, definitely. How do you, how do you um? Why I, feel, I suppose let's start at the beginning. Then why did you start doing these? Is it because of the job that you were in? Is it? Is that right? Yeah. Um, so I started in a golf store in in Nottingham. Um, yeah. And at that time, um, Crossfield had just started his reviews. Rick. Um, if we go back to where what reviews Rick was doing at the time, I'm sure he would be hiding his head because I've done the exact same thing with mine. Um, right. But it was there was hardly any content to it. It was recorded on a mobile phone, terrible quality, no microphone, and I hit. I think it was the ZL Encore Cobra driver. Right. Okay. And I, and I hit one shot with it. It got a thousand views over. I reckon it was a few weeks, and That's we all. Cool, yeah, at the time, especially that Incredible, was like yeah. huge. at the time I was like, wow, yeah, yeah. This, is, this, this is huge. So yeah, there's more, there's more to this. Um, and then I, I, straight away, I just got into more of the entertain and entertaining side. And to be honest, it, it so was you've, always, you've always done that, have you? Yeah, I, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. well, that, no, no, I mean, that's I always been your. You never sort of came into that. That's always been your line, as it's come from the yeah, oh, yeah. entertainment side. Yeah, 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 and um, I tried different things. Some was obviously well received, some not so much. I probably took it too far sometimes, um, and then, and that's when I thought, look, I need to pursue this. So I ended up getting I think one or two thousand subscribers then, um, yeah. and I've, from then I've had this is my th- the third channel I'm with, and I'm going to stay. But it's right. the th- it's the third time I've started, so I've been around a long time, um, but. It's always, yeah, the entertainment side's always been the approach. I'm sure I can find you some crazy footage of when I first started, but it's so bad. I'll have to have a look at that. So yeah, bad. no, I didn't realise that. <laughs> and is it, so you're, you're, I think, in around um, 10,000 subscribers, you get good views on your videos. How do you yeah. gauge your success then? What do you call success, Alex, with um, YouTube? Um, to be fair, it's more, I probably gauge, I probably shouldn't, taking what people say too much in, t- in terms of because the negative stuff gets to me a lot. Um, yeah, it's hard. Well, not, not yeah, too, it, it, is, it is. You work so hard on a video and someone for five seconds doesn't think about what they're going to say and it can it can ruin your day. You know the feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I agree. So it, it's, it's just funny, isn't it? you, received. But the funny thing is you'll have 50 comments. Uh, 49 will be good and for whatever reason, the one bad one will be the one exactly uh, you're, right. you're attending yeah. to. Yeah, so for so for 2019, my my goal, I suppose, my resolution was just to switch off from that one comment. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. At the end of the day, it is the minority. Good. Luckily enough, but, but, um, but, but you'll fail miserably. I know you will because it's hard. <laughs> it's too. <laughs> I, 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 say, failed I, think, I failed already, I think, this year. I mean, yeah, we're only a week in. It yeah, is hard. It's, it's funny. Yeah. We, we, we all, we all um, I suppose, like you say, it's the, it's the time and effort you put in. I think for me, it's, it's not, I, I love a lot of the good videos that I've done that I enjoy are the videos where uh, it's more of a debate, maybe not even a, I do quite a bit of that where there's not a product yeah. review as much, but a debate about yeah. a topic and, um, they're hard to find um, a balanced sort of uh, you, you want opinion without it being sort of over the top rude negativity and that's the yeah. you know crossing the line I suppose so I, I love is. that kind of stuff. but the odd one like you said unfortunately will, that will always be the case I think isn't it it is yeah yeah I mean it's you just I don't know just like I say you, you cross the line you learn if it's not well received then 
you end up yeah. being a better better version of yourself, I suppose. But um, yeah. if it's just if it's just the one, if it's just the one, then. But at the same time, I think in terms of your content, you've got to really uh believe in what you do haven't you you've got to commit to it and you've got to th- you, you've got to you can't change and adapt i don't think to an audience and what they want i think in, in the sense that you know if it's against your beliefs that would be wrong you've still got to stick to the kind of uh you know what you believe is the right content to be pouring out and i think it's right to have an opinion as well because otherwise that would be a little bit lame if you didn't but like you said it's just getting it a bit uh, it's getting it all balanced i suppose correct um, and well the thing for me with that um is um you know like i say you listen to certain people and if you took everything on board you'd end up with this you wouldn't be anything yeah. would you you'd be a no. piece of everything and you'd lose That's quite you, true. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. that's quite true. One of the, I mean, one of the big things, and um, somehow you kind of like you're part of it, is that there's been a big, um, I think, a bit of a backlash towards manufacturers. It's fair to say over the last yes. maybe maybe the last year or so, I don't know, maybe a bit more, and it seems ever growing popular to uh, criticize uh, the brands for mainly the release, how how often they've been released. And I think somehow that. And maybe you, the likes of myself, and all that we get sort of um, grouped into that really somehow as being on the side of the manufacturer. And I think it's important for me when I do the things. I always review a product in kind of like just for on, on its own merits. I, I, I don't get try not to get involved in that. But there is there is a backlash at the moment from for yeah. manufacturers. Do you think that impacts on the way people view your channel? Um, the, like I say, I suppose it's going luckily enough to the minority, but there are people like everyone's got an opinion, which is fantastic. Everyone has an opinion on a product and I love that fact, but you can channel that. So it's not, I mean, some of the comments you get are re- like really nasty. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's ruined, it's ruined their day that the manufacturers brought out another product. That's their yes. job, but it's, yeah, you know, yeah. for me, it is, it, it's a mentality it, it, at the moment. It is, it is getting worse. Um, mm. You're right. Um, it was probably two or three, it's probably started two or three years ago. Um, mm. The chat has nice increased. Building. Yeah, you've got, everyone's got a voice on social media. But it's sad mm. because these, these manufacturers are, you know, they sponsor the best players in the world who play golf because, you know, they've got a this decent sponsorship. It's making the golf. Mm. Yeah, bigger and trying to make it bigger and better. And if we're shutting these major manufacturers down, mm. for me, that's well, the, the interesting yeah. thing. For me, you look at uh, manufacturers are getting the backlash, but on the larger brands in the in the sort of three or four major brands, from what I mm. can see, all their sales figures are up, so they're not affected. They're, they're certainly not affected in terms of sales. So people, uh, there's a large majority of people who are still buying the product. Um, but it just seems to be a, a bit of a, a, perhaps a little bit of a bandwagon at the moment. What have you thought of sort of 2019 products so far? I, I've seen your videos, so I kind of know this. Yeah. But o- overall, Alex, what would you kind of, what, what would be your appraisal of it all so far? <laughs> so for me, it's been exciting for me because I'm a sucker for innovation. So anything yeah. that's, you know, if it is artif- artificial intelligence, if it is injecting resin yeah, yeah. behind a face, yeah. Yeah. It is a, an aero package that's, you know, I love that sort yeah. of stuff. That story yeah. for me is exciting. Yeah, you and know? I'm in that boat. Yeah. Right? I think that's, we're yeah. both a sucker for that. Right? Yeah. I but just think it's been – what I'm just looking over, to be honest with you. It's, I've just had the delivery this morning. I don't know whether you've seen the – have you seen the Ping product yet? Uh, I haven't. I haven't had it actually in my hands. Um, I've seen right. photos. Uh, so I've just seen it this morning. And, again, it's yeah. just – the the thing I was going to say was that – that from our perspective uh, as a reviewer, I think it's very difficult at the moment to be critical because what I've seen um, of product probably in the last year, really, but certainly this 2019 range that's come out so far from TM, from Callaway. We, we've got a dog making an appearance with the budgies. I, I, I can hear that. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, we've got, we've got, we're just off, off, off topic. We've got two husky babies. Oh, All right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, so, keep so you busy. Quite lively, I think is the word. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. I just, yeah. Well, I just heard one making an appearance. But all the product has been, and, I, and when I say all the product, I mean right throughout the ranges, um, for whether it be irons right the way through to driver, it's so impressive, the stuff at the moment, isn't it? It's like, yeah, like we've said, 
we get criticised for saying everything's incredible, and I don't think I've ever used that word in a review. But yeah. it wouldn't if it was bad. It wouldn't be at market. That's the, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's yeah. the it, would, it wouldn't be out there. So yeah. different different manufacturers, different brands are going to work for different people, which is a fantastic. I think it's great. You know, I think yeah. it's awesome. Enough. I think that's key is the bit where, you know, the, there's a ever argument that there's no difference between one driver and another. And we they quote things such as the control over COR limits and things like that. But what, what I certainly find is the comment that you made there, maybe there are limitations on there, but there's certainly driver head, shaft setups, different brands and manufacturers, <laughs> the dog's back, that work for one person that mightn't work for the next. And there are definite gains improvements to be made from one club one manufacturer one setup to another and i think that's what's often forgotten and in the same way when you do a review um often the focus is on the first thing people want to know is you know is it better than last year that seems to be the real focus right now doesn't it it does and straight away it's is it better than last year straight onto the negative straight away where it's i think you you put something out there to say that you know how can you write something off by seeing a teaser trailer? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was going to do a video. I was going to do a video on it, and I saw, I saw, you know, I've seen it over the internet. Like, it's true. How can you um, yeah, write yeah, something off yeah. by seeing a corner of a driver? It's like hit it. If yeah. you don't like it, then yeah, yeah. what was your opinion? Yeah, yeah. But until that yeah. point, you know, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the way it is, I suppose. Um, yeah. Bit of a bit of a, a lighter note. Moving on from the product testing, but I could clearly work. With, I mean, I think the first to finish on the product testing. I think the point to to remember. I think even from chatting with you now, and I've not done before, like I said, is that you've got a clear sort of uh, belief in what you do. You love what you do in yeah. terms of that, and I think you put a genuine effort into it. And I think that's the same for me. And that's all you can do in yeah. terms of the product testing. Yeah. I think. Um, on a lighter note, the. Um, YouTube Cup of 2019 that Rick Shields announced uh, in the last week or so. What do you think of that? I'm not excited at all, Andy. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> are, you, are, you, have you, are you on the plane? Um, as soon as we get a date, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do my very best. It's not obviously not easy. That's... It's going to it's going to be a quick turn. It's going to be a quick turnaround of a few days, but I will definitely make my view. Yeah, obviously, I'll try I my best it. to do that. That'd be amazing. I think he just put um, a, a bit more of a message out this morning. Um, so it seems to be gathering a bit of pace as well. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether it was just a, you know, let's see who's interested. At first. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it seems to be the ball's rolling with the sounds of it. So yeah. if, it, if it there's a man, well if, yeah, if there's a man that's going to lead it, Rick's got the power. Yeah, yeah. And followers yeah, to make to it happen. To do. Yeah, so I think you know, I think we're in good hands. <laughs> see what happens. See what happens. And yeah. and you're you're go, you're going to um you're going to Florida, aren't you? Next uh, week, is it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's fly on Sunday. Yes, so PGA Sunday, show, yeah. twenty nineteen. Yeah. And how long are you there for? It's just it's a week. Yeah, just it's a week. Yeah, it's, it, it all... is. Have you been to one before? No, I've not been. No, it's um it's different. I think is the is the word. So the show itself is obviously it's, for a golfer. It's the biggest event really to see everything that's new um things that won't even make it to to you know to to to, to market things that are just right prototypes it's just an exciting place to be it's very intense it is um a lot of walking i mean the convention center is huge Huge, yeah uh, it's very very special video in there i'm going to try my best yes i'm going to do a bit um a lot a lot of content planned um in different things but yeah um, fingers crossed, get some get some content out there. <laughs> Good week, yeah. All right, yeah. Good, excellent. Well, I think, I mean, we've put, um, I, I was trying to keep an eye on making sure we keep into a sort of half-hour slot, and I, I, I think we maybe have just overrun that a little bit, but I think, I, I never know how to end these things, but we've probably, we might bore people if we carry on for too much longer. <laughs> so I, I think maybe we'll try and call it a day there. I think, listen, I, I really enjoyed the chat. Um I hope people watching, viewers, that is, enjoy the chat. Um, I wish you all the best, mate, in 2019. Thank you. You too, mate. You too. I, I don't know um, whether we – maybe we can do this again sometime. I think maybe the, the time is for me now to look at the camera and say uh, comments down below. 
please make sure you make an effort. I'm sure you know about Alex's channel, but if you don't, then please, uh, I'll put the link below. Make sure you get over and check out his stuff. Some really, seriously, some good quality and great humor as well. Um, <clears throat> keep an eye on what's going on. Comments down below is what I was going to say. Tell me what you think of this thing, which I've called it, because like I said, I don't know how this is going to uh, pan out in the future, but it opens up the opportunity to speak to people like Alex, <laughs> other side of the world. Yeah, no, I mean, it's been it's been good. We had a bit of uh, technical issues, first of all, but yeah. in theory, it's, uh, it, it, it may be worked. We'll see in the edit, but thanks as ever for watching. Once again, thank you to you, Alex. And um, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks have a good year, all of you, and I'll see you soon. You too. Cheers, mate.